I'm glad you could join us today. We're going to have a little fun with color. My name is Mary, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a beautiful bouquet of flowers. We're going to be using coffee filters, water soluble markers, and a water spritzer. And in front of me on the table, you can see some of the designs I've been working on, just to give you an idea. For your designs, you can choose any colors you like. You can choose any patterns you like. Keep it simple because eventually we're going to move these to the spritzer tray and we're going to spray them with water so your designs are going to be transformed into something quite different than they looked when you first make them. But I have here in front of me one that I've been working on. And there's one on the tray with similar colors, and so I'm going to use green and yellow. Because for the flowers, um, we're going to use two filters for each flower. So you can make them match by using the same colors, but you can change up the patterns so they don't look exactly the same. And this is coming along. This is almost done. I think I'll put a little yellow. And, um, okay, here we go. I think it's good. See? Here it is, ready to go on the tray. Now we're ready to spritz them. Colors are already starting to blend together. I'm gonna to give them a couple of seconds here. A little more water. You now it should be able to see the colors really move. Now they're changing. Look at the transformation. Awesome. The shapes are dry. They look beautiful. See the colors, how they've changed once again? I'm going to hold this one up to the light so you can see how the light comes through and they have a very uh, translucent quality, almost like stained glass windows. Colors are pale, delicate looking. I think they're perfect for our project. For the flowers, I'm going to show you three different ways to make them. The first one, we'll just be using our shapes as they are. And the second one, we'll be cutting the edges to make a shape, to make a variety of shapes for the petals. And the third one will just be a small white flower with pointy petals. For the first flower, I'm going to choose two circles that I think look nice together. And I'm going to start by picking up a pipe cleaner and twisting the top to form the center to the flower. It looks like a button. Then I have to just put the pipe cleaner through the center of the first shape and through the center of the next shape. Let's see, I have to poke it in. Push it to the top like that. And then we're gonna squeeze it together very tightly, pinch it around like that. Then all I have to do is take a piece of tape, which I have right over here, a piece of scotch tape, I want to make sure that I twist it very tightly so it doesn't come apart. Then all I have to do is open it up. Might have to fuss with it a little bit to make it look nice. And I'll fix the center a little bit. 
See how it looks? For the next one, we're going to be doing some folding in order to cut the petal shapes. I'm going to fold it just like you would if you're going to make a snowflake. It's going to end up looking like a slice of pizza. See? So we still have to start the same way with the uh, centerpiece. I'm going to twist again. So that's ready. And now I'm going to show you how we're going to cut. Just make a curve like this. And I drew it. Okay, be simple. Let me make that a little better. So when I open it up, you can see how you can see the petals. See, there's one. Here's the other one. Put it back together. Now we're ready to put pipe cleaner through. Just like we did the first time. Let me see if it the poke it poke it right in there. So we'll do the other one. Poke that in too. <clears throat> Times it doesn't want to do it. There we go. Again, just like we did before, squeeze it, pinch it really tightly. I have my piece of tape over here. Ready to go. Okay. Let's see how it looks when I open it up. This one. I'm going to fix the center a little bit better. Got my button in the middle. What do you think? You like the petal shapes? I'm going to put that right over here. For the white one, I'm actually going to use three coffee filters. And we're going to fold it the same way we did for the petal one because we're going to be making spiky petals for this one. Fold it up. Now I'm going to cut the petals and I'm going to go way deep and make lots and lots of petals because I want this flower to be very Ball looking and fluffy. So just give me a minute here. So a couple more cuts and we should be good to go. Okay, so let's open it up and take a little peek here. Hmm. So it looks like this. We still have to um, turn it upside down, pinch it together. If you notice, this one I did not use a pipe cleaner with. I have my tape here. Wrap it tightly like before. Okay. And let's open it up. Let's 
See, it's a little smaller. It's very full and fluffy looking. Be a nice contrast to the others. There you have it. I'm going to put it over here. Now we're ready to finish up. I found this nice branch outside and I'm going to show you how to attach your flowers. First, I'm going to turn them upside down, just like this. And I'm going to lay the branch on them. And I'm simply going to tape the flower to the branch. It's a little tricky because uh, normally you think you would tape them where the stem is here, but I'm taping them on the petals. So let's see if you can see this. Oops. I'm going to reach in and just press them down right on the petal. Let me do this. I'm going to do it in two places also. And let me do this one up here, the white one. Take that in two places also. And scotch tape is good because you can't see where I'm taping it. If you happen to have a glue gun um, and had an adult to help you, you might want to try that. This works really well. This is the last one. Can you see how that is? It's going to go like that. Press it really well. And here we go. Okay. So now let's put it in the vase. There you have it. I hope you enjoy making your bouquet as much as I've enjoyed making this one and hers.